years ago, if you mentioned electronic music, people thought of weird machines with twisted wires and antennas. <laughs> kind of like ding, 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 ding. <laughs> Today we live in a world filled with synthesized sound, and now a new musical group has taken the whole idea one step, or should we say one lap, further. Here's Fox 29's Gerald Copan. <laughs> Unlike the usual ensemble, this one doesn't tune up. They set their speakers in place, plug up their cables, and make sure they're sufficiently wired. Then conductor Go Wong leads them off, and they launch into music that sounds like a combination of bubblegum pops and signals from Sputnik, all in a day's work for the Princeton Laptop Orchestra. Historically, musical instruments have been at the edge of technological development. Back when Bach and Beethoven were working with their pieces, a lot of the instruments they worked with were cutting-edge instruments. So the idea here is to see what kinds of things we can discover musically with the laptop. As an extracurricular, about 15 Princeton students take part in the program, each one armed with an apple and the will to make music history one way or another. Not everyone in the Princeton Laptop Orchestra is a computer geek. Some are engineering students, others are in the music department. And in fact, we asked one young piano major if he thought this sort of thing would eventually put him out of business. And so I think that this is just a new genre and a new territory of music uh, that can coexist peacefully with <laughs> piano playing and all the stuff that we've been used to. Whatever you think of the band, it was proven long ago that electronic music is here to stay. All you need to do is listen to the radio to hear that. Personally, I give it a 90. It's got a good beat. And if you have the energy, you could dance to it. In Princeton, New Jersey, Gerald Colpan, Fox 29 News.